Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Jamila and welcome back to my laboratory. So you guys have been asking and I'm finally here to deliver. Today I'm going to show you guys how to create an all over sublimation shirt using Canva and using a small 15 by 15 heat press. I have everything you need linked in the description box below. So make sure y'all check that out. And if you like this video, you learned something new, give your girl a thumbs up, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel. All right, guys, to begin the tutorial, we're going to go ahead and start off in canva.com and we're going to go ahead over here and click create a design and we're going to enter um, a custom size and whatever paper size you're using are the dimensions that you'll enter here. OK, so I'm using 13 by 19 size paper and change the pixels to inches. Oh, got to do it again. So I'm using 13 by 19 sublimation paper. So that is what I'm entering now. And then we're going to go ahead and hit create a design. Okay, now that we have our in empty canvas, I'm going to go ahead and upload the images that I'll be using for this project. And to do that, I'm just going to go ahead to my uploads and insert my photos. Okay, so a couple of my uploads have a white background that I want to remove. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight the image, go up here to effects, and hit background remover. Now the background remover is a Canva Pro feature. I do have Canva Pro. And if you don't have Canva Pro, you can use my affiliate link that I'll have in the description box to sign up and try it for 30 days but i'm telling it's like 12 dollars a month um same price as netflix used to be <laughs> but it is so worth it y'all i'm telling y'all if you don't have canva pro go ahead and sign up with my link down in the description box try it for 30 days and once you love it come back and tell me how dope it is Okay, so once the background is removed, I'll just hit apply and I'm going to do the same thing to this image as well. Okay, so my husband has some white, red, and gray shoes that he wants to wear on Father's Day, which is the reason why I'm wearing this shirt. But he said he didn't want anything corny like world's best dad or whatever. <laughs> So, okay, I was like, okay, I can do that for you. So that is the colors that I'm going to be going with, red, white, and gray. So what I'm going to do is go over here to the elements tab, and I'm going to type in texture. And this texture right here is like my favorite to use, but let me try this one and see what this one so I have this and I'm just going to kind of just like um, spread it all over the image and I'm going to make sure that it's highlighted. Go up here and change it from black to red. Okay, I like that. So let me scoot it over a little bit. And I'm going to go up here to position and move it to the back. Okay. So now I'm going to take my skyline. Just stretch it out a little bit. Probably about the width of the paper, about 13 inches or so. Bring it up. So I'm just going to speed through this part because I didn't do anything special, <laughs> but I'm just finishing up my design. Okay, so in Memphis, they like to say Maine. So <laughs> I'm going to add that. I just think it um, should be Memphis, Maine. So I'm going to use, I think I'm going to try this font. Because it kind of goes along with this uh, Memphis SVG. I actually got this off Etsy. So, let me see. I'm just really trying to personalize this shirt. 
to my husband's personality. Okay, we go up here and change the text color. No, I want gray. Yeah, I want this to be gray. And it has a background. So um, I made sure my text is highlighted. I went up here to effects. And this has an echo background that gives that effect, that like glowing effect right there. I don't need this blue. I'm going to make that black. Um, let me see what it looks like red. And I know black. Yes, that looks good. And just move that. All right, y'all. So that is our image. Yeah, I like that. So we're going to go with that. Okay, so now that we have this, what we're going to do is go ahead over here to download. And we're just going to download this as a PNG and save it to your computer. Now, the next steps are very important. So pay attention to what I say, okay? If you haven't listened to anything else I've said this whole video so far, please listen to these next steps, okay? So we can just exit out of all of that. And we're going to go to go to your printer settings. So I'm using my Epson Workforce 7710 and we're going to go to manage, printer properties, no, I'm sorry, I lied, <laughs> printing preferences, you're going to go over here, down, so in the main, under the main tab, I have my document size is super B, which is 13 by 19 paper. Paper type premium presentation matte, quality standard, color. Um, right here where it says multi page, I'm doing three by three poster. Okay. Do that. Uh, reverse order. Make sure this is checked. Check that. And over here to more options, make sure your mirror image is on because of what sublimation you need to mirror everything and honestly if you check this box you'll never have to manually mirror your sublimation prints again because as you see in canva i didn't mirror my image but when i print it because i have this checked it'll mirror everything for me okay and make sure your high speed is off so those are our printing settings that we're going to have for this project and we're just going to go ahead and hit okay go to where we downloaded this And we're just going to go ahead and print using those same settings that I just walked you guys through. Hold on, let me change my printer. Okay. A3 plus, premium presentation map, full page, et cetera, et cetera. And go ahead and print. And y'all, this is a major, major life hack right here. Okay. And you'll see why in a second. Now this part of the tutorial is optional, but it is super helpful and I do recommend it if you can. I'm basically making a t-shirt jig and to do that, I'm going to trace the outline of the shirt I'll be using, but making it slightly bigger because you want to stretch the shirt so that you can get it like a nice smooth flat surface. So I'm just making it slightly bigger and I'll go ahead and cut it out with my scroll saw. Now, if you don't have a scroll saw, it's not completely necessary. You can really achieve this with some cardboard as well. So just do what you can with what you have, but I definitely recommend making a jig. So once I cut everything, I'm just going to go ahead and sand it down to make it all smooth and no sharp corners. So since we made those changes to our printer settings, the printer will slice up our image for us. Y'all, how dope is that? That is like a major game changer right there. 
but I did do the three by three poster print and it made my image entirely too big. So I had to go ahead and reprint this and do a two by two printing. So depending on the size of your shirt, you'll have to play with your measurements. After you print everything out, it doesn't print borderless. So we have this border right here. And what we're going to do is just cut one side off. Okay, so I'm going to cut this side of the border off and then I'm going to slightly overlap it onto this border right here and piece the image together. So to piece our image back together, we're just going to go ahead and cut off the border, add a couple pieces of tape, just enough to hold it down so that you can align your image together. And then you'll just go ahead and flip your flip it over and tape it up really well. Once you finish, it should look like this. Ooh, this looks good, y'all. So our image fits the length of the shirt perfectly, but the sleeves are kind of left out. So I just cut a little bit of the extra that was at the top and added that as the sleeve. And it's really only paint splatter, so it didn't really make a big difference in my design. And once I do that, I'm just going to lightly spray the shirt with some Elmer adhesive glue and press the shirt on. And that is just going to help it stay in position once I'm doing all this rotating and, you know, moving around on the press. And I basically just um, press it 400 degrees for 60 seconds all the way around the board. I actually go all the way around the board twice just in case I miss any spots. And here is the scariest part of the project, y'all. It is the big reveal. So let's see how we did. Oh my goodness, y'all. That looks so good. Y'all, y'all don't understand. This looks so bomb. Y'all don't understand how, what I went through to get to this result. I'm so excited and I'm super happy. But there it is, you guys. That is how you can do an all-over sublimated shirt using a 15 by 15 heat press and designing in Canva. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you later.